time now for medical rounds, and there is good news in the fight against colon, stomach, and esophageal cancers. There are minimally invasive endoscopic treatments now available to treat these types of cancers without the disadvantages of the conventional procedures. And joining us live to talk more about that is Dr. Michael Karasik. He's a gastroenterologist at Hartford Hospital to tell us more. Thank you for being with us tonight, Dr. Karasik. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, I understand there are only so, a, li a limited number of sites across the country uh, performing these less invasive endoscopic procedures. Hartford Hospital happens to be one of them. Tell us about that. Yes, so these are, are endoscopic surgical procedures. They're minimally invasive in that because they're endoscopic, we use a scope that goes through the mouth or the rectum to get to the tumor, whether it be in the esophagus, the stomach, or the colon. But they're surgical because we can then cut out the tumor and yet leave healthy tissue behind. We remove the tumor in one piece, which is key to surgical cure. And it sounds like there'd be quite a few benefits for the patients in terms of recovery. There really are. Because there is no incision made in the abdomen or the chest, patients tend not to have any pain afterward. Most of our patients have been able to stay for observation overnight and are released the next morning feeling perfectly normal. Wow, no pain, that's amazing. And I also understand that you don't have to alter the anatomy or even GI function during these procedures? Right, so this is also a major advance over surgery because when surgery is done, the entire wall has to be removed and part of the organ. We don't do that. When you lose part of the organ, the function is changed and the complication rate both acutely and chronically goes up. Mm -hmm. Now, are there other GI-related procedures that you can treat minimally invasively with this as well? Yes, there, there are uh, muscle disorders, spastic disorders, whereby spasm of the esophagus or the stomach doesn't allow food to pass. And patients can be very symptomatic, but because we can tailor the dissection to any particular layer, layer we can cut that muscle and do it all through the mouth. Wow, that's wonderful. Great news, and good news um, certainly for anyone out there who suffers from any of these conditions. I love the line about no pain. That's what you want to wish for everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Karasik. Now, there is a free class coming Thanks. up called Are You at Risk for Colon Cancer? It's on February 23rd in Wethersfield. To register, just call the number you see on the screen. And you can also get more information on this by going to our website, wfsb.com.